Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've had a chance to do anything with coffee plans and flip flop tans. The school year started, it just got really busy. So I'd like to jump back into it today with um, just a small haul video. Um, I haven't had a chance to go through a lot of the things that have come in the mail lately. So we'll start with Simply Gilded. Um, I ordered from, she had a small release and I really didn't get a whole lot, but um, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that uh, I really love her Max washi and the different versions of it. So she came out with some new ones. This one is um, like a lighter pink with that watercolor in it, but it's a silver foil. So. Um, they're the same like maps formats, but she changed the foil color, so I really liked that. Um, and then with each of the maps also has like a airplane washi. Um, and so this one is more of a rainbow type airplane washi. Let's see if I can get all of this out of here. Looks like we're just gonna try the bag today. It's one of those days, you know. There we go. Get it all out of there. Hot mess over here. Okay, so the next one is the darker pink with the watercolor continents and the silver foil. And I really love these silver hearts on the continents of you know major cities and such. So again, that's the silver foil. And this one has more of a pink and silver airplane washi to go with it. And then here is the, um, this is more of a blue purple color. Um, the original maps that was in like, I wanna say like the second sub box or something like that. This is the original one. And she has yet to bring back just this all blue purple color, um, which is my absolute favorite. But here is the other blue purple color that she's come out with where she put the um, watercolor on the continents and then the silver foil. Okay, and then this one comes with like a light blue, I wanna say almost like a cornflower type color with the silver airplanes there. So I really love that. Um, so love this order. It was just a small order. And let's see what's in here. I honestly don't even remember. It's been a while since I ordered. And like I said, things have gotten really hectic around here. And this is the first time I've even had to sit at my craft desk in probably about three weeks. So, okay, that's right. I ordered, <laughs> it's always a surprise. Um, here's some junipers with the, her little suitcases. Um, and this is the, it's like a pink foil around it. And then the junipers with suitcases. And this is like a Stardust silver foil. So that's what was in the sticker folder. And this came as a bundle. So it was like this maps bundle. And then it like came with the stickers there. And then she always includes a freebie um, in her orders. So let's open up and see what we got as the freebie this time. So here we have one of her little sampler cards, little flamingo, full box, and some icons. And the Aurora pink, I think is what she calls this. Um, it's like a hollow pink bow. So I love these, um, these animal bow seals. And then the journaling card. I have this journaling card already, but it is so beautiful that I am sure I can use it more than once. So and this is was from the last pre-sale with the um, alcohol links. So that's it for Simply Gilded today. Um, I really love those things and I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, so I did get an order in from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, and I really do love this shop. Um, they're just, the little emojis are so cute. So, little monsters. Um, so, let's 
so in this order, like I said, this came a while ago and I haven't had a chance to go through it yet. So um, here in the freebie, um, I love this little guy that's grilling and the little penguin who's absolutely melting. That has definitely been this summer. Okay. Um, I could have used these a while ago. We just, I got these cute little football, um, stickers. My, my son plays flag football. He just had his last game of the summer season yesterday, but we'll start back again in a few weeks. So these will be great for marking, um, when we have football games and practices. And she, these are new, these little, oops, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. These new checklists that she came out, they were on a sampler and they did, a, she did like a, um, a survey to see if people were interested. And so we have all of these for like a meeting, which this is definitely gonna go in my teacher planner for the amount of meetings that I have. Um, very cute. I'm gonna set those aside so I remember to put those in my teacher planner. And then um, little workout check boxes and um, tidy up check boxes. So I love how small they are. They can fit right in the box. They don't take up so much room and you still have room to add things to your planner. I thought this was very sweet. Um, this is the seasonal floral arrangements, um, just something to decorate. And I just thought they were really pretty. I love the yellows and the purples and the pinks that she added in here. So I have these coffee emojis. You know, every coffee is just so important right now. It's keeping me going with all of the busy schedules and everything starting back up for the school year. So I am sure these are gonna get used rather quickly. Um, another sheet of coffee, um, depending on the day, what kind of coffee, what's your poison, right? Um, so I really love these little French press guys, like he's a little monster emoji stuck in there. So some days you're feeling sweet, you have your mocha and you know, just your regular coffee. Uh, so you get your fancy coffee days and you know, the days where it's just the full pot of coffee on drip. So I really do like these, um, I'll be using these up. Okay, so these actually go with this. So I'm gonna put this down. This is the back to school labels. Um, I probably should have opened this up when it came. Um, would have been helpful in this past week, but you know, life kind of got away from me. I am sure there's gonna be other times that I have a chance to use some of these, you know, like the filling out forms, sign the form, those kind of things. But um, these are just some really cute back to school labels that I can put in my planner. Um, I plan on using these to, um, track my children school items. Um, as far as work, I tend to use different ones. So that way when I'm looking in my planner, I know that, you know, if it's got the emojis or whatever's going on, um, I know that that's my children. Um, it's, it's hard to keep it all straight when I'm also tracking my school stuff at being a teacher. So um, some people color code, I kind of do the more cute things for my kids and the more business stuff for me. Okay, so then is the back to school kit. Um, so these sheets are add-ons to the back to school kit. So we have some washi strips and I'm really loving these neutrals and then the lines with that look like binder paper. And then we have some back to school emoji headers. They're super cute. Um, and then these little sticky notes. Um, all in the same colors that match the back to school kit. So the back to school kit, I did get the four page kit. Um, I think it's super cute. It's got all of my, you know, favorite pens in there. Um, you know, going back to school, the computer. So if you're virtual or in person, um, packing up the backpack, you know, your online information here. And then just this one right here, that's just binder paper. And that's the cutest. So that's the first page with the full boxes. And then we have some to-do headers and some quarter boxes and half boxes, um, a weekend banner and um, your little emojis down here. You can use these for meal planning or, you know, marking things that you're grateful for, gratitude, things like that. All right, and then here is the washi strip. Um, I absolutely love these washi strips. Um, 
doodling this little S when I was a kid. I think all kids end up going through this stage, right? Um, the little airplane and the doodles and um, over here, you know, being a student sitting through that first week, <laughs> doodling board in the side of their planner. I love it. So we have the polka dot strip and then this binder paper like strip, some flags, um, some checklist emojis, and then a few more headers. Okay, and then another page, this is the deluxe page, like the add-on to make it the four page kit. So it comes with a few more full boxes and then a weekly tracker. Um, I usually use one like this is my meal plan over in the sidebar because, um, you know, it's like that list of what I plan on making. This is also comes in handy if there's after school things that I need to remember to add into my, my actual plans. So I like using that. Some habit trackers, this little label here is so cute with the little paper clips on it. Um, and here's some more um, headers with stripes and polka dots and a few more labels here. So that's it for the four page kit um, and the Coffee Monsters Co. haul. It did come with a journaling card, which they usually do, and I absolutely love this journaling card. A pastry day keeps the hate away. Um, a little sugar doesn't, won't hurt you. You know, everything in moderation. Um, so it's absolutely adorable. Um, and on the back of her journaling cards, you can, you know, there's, it'll, they'll tell you who, who filled out your order, which I absolutely love. And then you can take these little beans right here. You take them off and you put them on the journaling card. And when you fill the journaling card, after you place an order, you snap a picture of it and email it to them. And they'll send you what they call like a, a little bean freebie. And, you know, it's a little um, thing of stickers that's, you know, free just for I mean, you already ordered it, so um, that's really sweet. And then they always do this cute little um, saying here. Sometimes there's jokes, so this one says, you are such a weirdo, just kidding, you're awesome. Um, and sometimes they're, you know, the cute little riddles and jokes. So um, yeah, that's it for Coffee Monsters Co. And we'll move on to the next thing in just a moment. Okay, I just got this order yesterday. Um, from Lexi Kylie Designs, and you know, I really like the way that she should get everything out of there. Um, does her orders because really she she focuses on one thing and does it really well. So her key thing is like monthlies, and you know, script stickers, deco, that kind of thing. Um, if she were to put some of these into dailies, definitely. Um, and you know, I may be wrong, maybe by the time I review this, she has started doing, you know, weeklies and things like that. But um, I really do love ordering from her. And usually I, it's a few months ahead. So she added this thing to her bag, it's so cute. So she has Lexi Kylie Designs on her bag and then it says, almost as good as tacos. And um, girl, yes, that's hilarious, I love that. Okay, so if you've been on my channel for a while or even, you know, the past month or two, you know that I've been going back and forth with whether or not I'm going to stick with the A5 daily or if I'm going to move back into a vertical. Um, the A5 daily has just kind of proven to be a little too much for what I need since I do all of my family things in my personal planner and all my work things go in my teacher planner. So if I was combining everything, the daily would be great because I could add all of the things on there, but I'm just finding a lot of space that I'm not using. So when I ordered this and why I'm telling you this is because I have both the A5 monthly that I ordered and the vertical because I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. Um, but I think I have a plan figured out now. So um, this is her one of her freebies, which is so super cute in this hollow foil. Um, since I ordered the October um, kit, sorry, I'm losing my words here. Since I'm, I ordered the October kit, this is themed for October in some hollow stickers and foil. It says costume shop, haunted house, trick or treat, scary movie night, pumpkin carving, and Halloween. So this is definitely gonna be awesome for filling out like when we do these type things. We absolutely love this time of year, you know, fall is starting and we can get out and do a few more um, autumn type things. It's not as hot. Um, 
So I'll definitely be using this freebie. I think that's amazing. She also includes this little tiny journaling card. I like these little journaling cards. You know, um, I love the other journaling cards you've seen today too. We can, you can glue them into a planner or frame them or, you know, turn them into a greeting card, use them in a junk journal, whatever you want to do. But I like how small this is and you can just, um, you can color it in if you want. You can just stick it somewhere. It doesn't take up the whole page. So, um, on the back, she does come, um, with a coupon code and, um, if you want to, scan to shop her shop there is her qr code and her information so i really i really do love this shop okay so for the a5 the a5 was i want to say okay the a5 was three sheets so here we have the monthly headers up top she puts the, the days of the week down at the bottom so you can add them where you want so you can have a Monday start or a Sunday start whatever you want but the artwork that she puts together in in is amazing you can't find it anywhere else she takes time to really put all of these things together um, so I mean I just think these are amazing um, and I love the little flags you know you have your little money signs you put payday in your monthly appointment the second page of the monthly kit for the a5 you have your little date dots and you know another full box some um, scripts let's celebrate vacation day off you have some more payday headers if you don't want to use um, the little dollar signs these could also be for bills if you're tracking bills on your monthly um, these little mandala half circles are absolutely gorgeous and I love the way she mixes that aesthetic in with the Halloween type spooky aesthetic I think it worked out really well so and then the small labels um, and this is one of the reasons why I'm thinking about moving away from the a5 to organize like family life and everything um, because the monthly is so small I mean these labels are teeny tiny and I just don't write that small However, I could change using my A5 into a daily journal um, or gratitude or something like that. So it's not going to go to waste. Um, I'm just not going to be using it for the same purposes anymore. And then on this one, I chose at the A5 sidebar comes on a separate strip. Um, and I think it's super cute with the raven down there and um, the beautiful flowers. So that's for the A5. So like I said, I did also get the same kit for the um, seven by nine vertical because I, I am gonna be switching over and using my vertical again. Um, so um, it's got the same, when you compare the headers, it's got the same, but this one in the middle, notice it doesn't have the line on it. This is for that section of dates right below the header where the month doesn't have those days so you can fill that in as deco and then the next sheets in this kit has um, some more of that mandala feature and um, these interesting boxes I really love these aesthetic boxes I'm not really sure what to call them um, and then you have your date dots um, and she added some holidays in here and um, some more labels and maybe you know some even little birthday balloons and things like that and her days of the week are here all right so then to that kit i added the um i went with a decorative sidebar for the monthly i don't usually use a lot of the monthly sidebar um because i put it all in the monthly spread so i chose the decorative sidebar to go with that monthly all right, so here's some of the add-ons that go with the monthly. So this is the lifestyle page. And you know, I don't end up using all of these, but I definitely save them because some of the colors might match another kit. And you know, I, all of my Halloween stuff, I end up putting in the same um, sticker binder and using and trying to use them up each year. So, you know, we have some trash day icons and computers and happy mail, doctor, doing your hair, the home, school. Um, some little layering components down here so that's the lifestyle sheet the next sheet is some extra boxes so if you need extra boxes this can be used with the vertical or the monthly as far as where you might need to add extra boxes so I went ahead and got that 
And then, of course, the deco sheet with all of the extra little pictures. You have the spooky castle and the spider webs and the branches and, you know, the flowers and the skull and the tombstone, and the ravens and the bats. Um, I just love this. So this I will just probably use to just place where I have some little extra, you know, white space in my planner and um, just make it look a little cuter. So um, and then I did get the notes kit. So this is for the pages in the 7x9 that come right before the monthly. I don't always get the notes kit, but I just loved this artwork so much. Um, so in the notes kit, um, it comes, you can choose to get the scripts, and this is um, on clear paper, and it's um, black ink. It's not black foil, it's just black ink, um, but it's a very dark black. I really like that. Um, and on this, you can choose to get it on the matte paper or on clear and I went with the clear so that I could layer it on things and um I don't know at the time I just thought that's what would work um I'd probably use it on both okay so. um in the month's kit so this goes over one of the large boxes it says October and then down at the bottom you can add these and you can really format your page any way you want but you have your current lane you know, are you watching listening reading feeling loving planning those kind of things um, and it comes with some more deco. Okay, and then here co covers a couple of the other boxes, um, and that you and you can fill and add. It's got a little checklist. You could put a little gratitude, a quote. We've got some flags and circles, um, and you know some just layering pieces. And then here we can. It's your habit tracker. You for instead of tracking your habits in your daily or your weekly, you could do this in your monthly right before the spread and track your habits um, just right there. And they're all there for the whole month. So I like that too. Okay, and then this last one, you have the page that's alternating on the other side. So um, whether you're using the right or the left side for the previous stickers, you can put this month and it's got another checkbox list and you, know, you can add all of these components in. Um, some of these I might actually use in my vertical if I need, but it just allows you to create whatever you want in your spread for those notes pages and be in front of your month. Now when I say in front of your month, I'm talking about an Erin Condren planner. That's where they have it in the front of the month. In some of the other planners out there, you might be using your notes pages in the back of the planner in the back of the month, but you know, wherever you have those extra pages that you would be taking notes for the month, that's where these are useful. So that's it for Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, I can't wait to get to stickering these onto my planner. Okay. And as far as sticker shops go, I think that's it. The rest of the haul is just some things that I've picked up um, from the EC websites over the past few weeks. Um, not a large haul, but I'll be right back with